What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm shooting my very first video with this Sony RX 103 camera that I picked up from a thrift store for $17. Now if you guys are familiar with cameras, this one in particular does have a flip up screen so this is really dope. But it also retails on Amazon for like $400 to $500 bucks right now. And the crazy thing is like I said, I picked this up for $17 and I was actually like looking for this particular camera just so I can start vlogging a little more for you guys so I found this camera which is super crazy and that usually does happen for me where I like intentionally want something and I end up finding it in the thrift store so that's always something really dope whenever that does happen but like I said in this particular video I'm going to be talking about some stuff that sold on Poshmark over this past weekend from Friday to Sunday so if you guys are interested in these kind of videos hit that like button subscribe to the channel and also if you want to catch that video where I actually picked up this camera as well as an iMac and some vintage pieces to sell on Poshmark and Grails definitely check out that video I'll put that in the description below for you guys but without further ado Let's get into it. For the Cause you felt like you was losing. Only for the Okay, so first up is this UGG care kit and I sold this for 10 bucks and I had it listed for 15 and I purchased a bunch of these probably like over a hundred of these for a dollar a piece. So basically anytime I make a sale, I'm making profit. So as long as I sell these for about $10, I'll always be happy. I sold some for more than 15. I sold some on eBay as well for about 20 to 22 dollars. So I'm pretty sure as the weather changes and people are starting to pull out more of their Uggs or even Timberland boots and just other suede shoes as well, these will start to sell a lot faster and for my full asking price. But in the meantime, I'll just be happy with accepting uh, 10 bucks. I have so many of these in the inventory that it's really just a win-win overall. Next up, we got this Under Armour Real Tree t-shirt and I had this for a very, very long time in my inventory. So long to the point that I, I actually had this uh, in my trunk ready to have it ready to donate it and it ended up selling for the 12 bucks so I had to go in the in the car and pull it out so I was glad that I didn't actually let this one go because it did sell and if it and if it sold and I actually like donated it or even traded it into a um, consignment shop I would have ended up uh, having to cancel this order so this was a really good flip I think I paid a dollar for this shirt as well. So um, I was just glad that it actually sold because I had this in the inventory for at least six months. Next up is a pair of Merrill shoes and Merrill shoes usually sell for some decent profit. As you can see, these wasn't in the best condition, but I didn't want to just go ahead and uh, take this to Goodwill. And most of the consignment shops in my area definitely wouldn't uh, take something like this because this is no their type of style. So I had this listed on Poshmark for I think 25 bucks and I got a best offer of 19. So I just went ahead and accepted that. And like I said, some Merrill shoes sell for some better profit, especially their hiking boots. But these shoes in particular didn't sell for much money. And I don't think this style sells for much either. But I do remember picking this up from a garage sale for like 2 or $3. So I did make some decent profit. But Merrill is just one of those brands that's kind of hit or miss. If you could get a, a good quality pair of boots, have the Vibram soles on the bottom, and they're like uh, more, more like a mid-cut, you can definitely make some more profit. But these... Definitely not the ones to be trying to look for. Next up, we sold a pair of Nike Air Foam Posit Pros, and these were in a size 6Y. Um, when I picked these up, these were really beat, really dirty, and for the most part, I was able to clean these up and just kind of restore them a little bit. And I had these listed for 39 based on the condition. Got a best offer of 32 bucks, and I went ahead and accepted that. So definitely be on the lookout for Nike Air Foam Posits. As you can see, there was some heel drag. That's why I um, couldn't demand more money. But if these shoes are, are in better condition, you could easily get 50 to 60 bucks um, for a pair of foam posits in a size 6Y, sometimes even more. Next up, we got a pair of Allbirds, and these are the Blue Wool Runners. And these were in a fairly decent condition when I picked them up. The midsole was really dirty, so I had to focus on that and really try to get those clean. And as soon as I listed these for $39, they sold within the hour. So that made me think I didn't charge enough. Or maybe I just uh, listed the perfect size for the right buyer at the right time. Who knows? On eBay, these were usually selling for about 39 to about 49 bucks, uh, depending on condition. And like I said, these were, wasn't in the best condition, but I cleaned them up pretty well. So they sold for 39 in about an hour. So be on the lookout for Allbird sneakers. It's one of those brands that um, kind of has a really big following. So those that are interested in this brand would kind of like save it in their search and stuff like that. 
but um, it's definitely not a brand that I come across often. So keep that in mind as well. Next up, we got a pair of Uggs and this came from that Ugg outlet haul where I picked up like 40 pairs of these shoes and I picked up various sizes, various different styles and colors. And this was, I think, one of the last size fives in this color. So um, when it comes to picking up shoes, especially when you're buying in bulk, size is one of the most important things to consider. Um, smaller sizes like size 5 and 6, those take a lot longer to sell. Um, but at that time, I was definitely new to buying uh, in bulk and purchasing stuff from outlets. So as soon as I saw brand new Uggs, I just wanted to go ahead and grab them up, not knowing that it would take a very long time to sell. I mean, keep in mind, I did think that it would it would take a lot, a lot longer than some of the other pairs, like the, the more popular sizes, such as 8, 9, and 10. I knew it would be a difference, but trust me, I've had, I've, I got so many Uggs still uh, from that original haul back in April that um, I probably won't pick up any size 5s or 6s or anything like that for a long time, just because it takes a lot longer to sell. But I had these listed for 49 They sold for 49 I think I paid $17 for these. So still a decent amount of profit at the end of the day. Next up, we got a pair of red Timberland boots. And these sold for $55. Bucks. I was originally asking $59. And I saw the comps on these. Uh, brand new, they were selling for like $70. Bucks. But these were um, used really good condition. No real major flaws or anything like that. And these sold uh, within about a week. So when it comes to Timberlands, especially between now and the end of the year, especially the top of next year, once one, just once fourth quarter rolls around in winter time, people are going to start buying these stuff up like crazy. Next up, we got another pair of Uggs, and these are the Ugg Tasmans. And I picked these up during that same Ugg outlet haul, and these sold for $58, and I believe I was asking $69. So I gave a little discount, but still a really good sale for me. I also picked these up for about $17. So I made some decent profit on this. And I believe I have a size 12 left in these. So hopefully those will sell pretty soon within the next few months. And um, I'll probably end up raising some of my prices for some of these Uggs as we get closer to the fourth quarter, only because I know that's when these will be a little more in demand and I'll be able to get a little more profit for these. But as for now, just to keep profits rolling and to keep some sales coming in, I'm accepting lower offers. But like I said, as soon as the as soon as fourth quarter rolls around and people are shopping for more gifts and stuff like that, I'm probably going to raise my prices just to be more competitive with the market because everyone else will be raising their prices for um, winter boots and Uggs and stuff like that as well. So it's 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 good to keep your prices competitive, whether that means you have to raise your prices. Or, or lower your prices and oftentimes when it comes to raising your prices to be competitive some people might not understand that uh, concept but what it is is that you don't want to have your prices way too low compared to everyone else and it will, it'll make people think there's something wrong with your item they'll think it might be fake so just pay, always pay attention to the market see what other sellers are pricing their stuff at and just try to remain competitive at all times and last but not least this is definitely the sale of the weekend uh, I don't even know how to say these shoes but I'm gonna say their feet or maybe their fate but these were a really good pair of shoes i picked these up from uh, buffalo exchange no these are actually from crossroads consignment shop and i paid 40 bucks for these and i had uh i think i had 110 dollars in trade so i was able to trade for these shoes and as soon as i listed them they sold the night but they sold uh the very next day so definitely be on the lookout for these shoes uh, most most goodwills and places like that probably wouldn't even be familiar with this brand but overall the leather quality on these are really really high so they might uh, they might look it up just like most other goodwills and uh, a lot of these other thrift stores in the area nowadays it's so competitive you're basically competing with the thrift stores to to try to see if you can outsmart them but this is definitely a very good brand to be on the lookout for comps on ebay sell anywhere between 150 to about 200 depending on the condition but like I said, I didn't have the box for these, so I couldn't ask a little more. And there were some normal signs of wear, as you could see on the bottom. But overall, really good brand to be on the lookout for. And um, it sold for $159, my full asking price. So I made a decent amount of profit after all was said and done. All right, y'all. That's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And also, just to see those of you that actually made it to the end of this video, drop a comment and let me know if this ever happens to you where you go to a thrift store, you was actually looking for something. Say you was just about to buy it and you ended up going to the thrift store and you found that same exact item. Drop a comment and let me know. It also lets me know that you guys are actually watching these videos in its entirety. So drop a comment, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. For the winner, cause you felt like you was losing. Only for the winner, mood just to keep from cooling. Like only for the winner, only for the winner, only for the winner. Boy, my heart is cold, and I'm too cool to sweat it. I should've never offered it.
I'm tight now, I'm off this shit. I'm